guess it could be like a hair beat. Yeah, it's about a just like a smidgen. Which would make it, see how if I draw it down, it's kind of in the middle here. But, so, what that does is then from this angle on the right, your hands will take a straight line at the ball and just make it a hair steep there. And then, you know, could have a tendency of going a little bit more left. Whereas if they had a little bit deeper line like this, you could come a little bit more from the inside. Right? So from this one, you, to get that thing to go shallow, you have to kind of either loop your hands or like do something kind of funky with your wrist to like get that thing to lay down a little harder. Because uh, you want this thing to come down like right here. Good, right? Um, your lateral push is good. And then here, you can just see on the left, you can see your right hand just gets really active and it kind of throws. And upper body kind of gets a little bit tumbly, tumbly meaning like gets a little bit going this way. So if we got deeper, oh, you can set up and then turn back and get your hands back to the wall. Yeah. You know that one we did? Fire when you're doing this, like you're firing the club head this way. And then hit it. So I'm not keeping this here by like going like this and then like dragging my chest through. Like I'm not going like this. Right? Like I'm here and I'm firing the tip into the ground and then matching up my body to it. Here, firing and releasing. Back, this right, this right. That total golf trainer thing will stay right against your wrist. And you're coming down and like you're, you're firing the head. And then you're firing. Pivoting all the way up onto that right foot. There you go, right to there. So then from this view, this angle of your glove would kind of show compared to going like this, which would maybe have too much roll, which caused the snap hook that you hit on the right on the uh, course. So if you go, that's why I kind of grip it at the end, but if you go here and then you really hinge it and then fire the head down. That way you've got the angle, you're releasing it and then you match it up. And then fire the head, go through. You see how your chest and everything is matched up? Sometimes when you do these, you have a tendency to do it, to like really spin your way into it. So you kind of do those hit holds when you're over there in that bank. You kind of go like this shoulder, like which kind of shows that you're like trying to do it all through your chest, yeah. rather than like just letting it fire. And then at this spot, you just basically would just like fold your arms and you're finished. soft finish rather than the one that's like this. <laughs> if you can try to do this and do it while keeping the club head like you hit and keep that club head like below your hands. You know, it's below my hands this yeah. way. And if it gets above your hands, that's usually that what you were talking about where it feels like I'm adding too much loft and it's going left. Hit and then keep that club head halfway through, like below your hands rather than recoiling it up to right here. That club will line up like in a real swing, that club would line up with your left right arm. Right? Like right here, right here is with your left, then it switches to your right, right, and then here, when you get to here that club's like an extension of your right arm again. That's why I was saying when you did it, you have a little bit too much right hand, which makes it at that halfway through point, that club's kind of above your hands, showing it's going a little bit faster than your body, which can make you, you know, shut the face and hit that left shot. And then your opposite would be like where you are, where you're like this. 
but then you throw speed on it and you'll be like that, and then because you're like this. So you're kind of practicing the mile to get the inch. The right hand back and try to educate, educate your right hand. See how my right wrist, my right wrist works? It's not going too much like that. You're here. And you're trying to create a sensation and trying to educate your hands on how to, how to work. See how much it threw? Because the other thing too is if you do this and you're finished and you create as a like you want a playing feel. So if I go like this and then I fold up, it's almost like I'm like holding a tray of food on this side rather than going like this and throwing it too hard. Right? So it could be a playing feel where you go, I'm just gonna have a finish all day where it feels like I'm like holding this this tray up here with my right hand which gets rid of, so if I was like this, and then I just keep my wrist there and come right back down to impact. Whereas if you went like this and you dump the tray out and then I bring my hands back. See, there's like the finish, and see how like your stand, so watch the club. So if you go like this, and I make your hands go like that, where'd the club go? Look back, right? Mm -hmm. so if I go like this, the club goes that way, right? Yeah. So the club and the grip work in opposite directions. So you're right, if you win, so it's kind of education, and if your hands go run out to the right, centrifugal force is going to make that, the, well, that club go too far away, right? Whereas if you have it here, but then at the same time, if you say, I want to make my hands go left, Sure, I mean, you can like manufacture it by making your hands go like over the top and go left, but now you've sacrificed the swing plane and the swing direction and you're gonna hit it bad too because it's gonna be too steep. So you wanna go like this and you come down and then your hands go left because your body rotates, which makes your hands go left but the club stays outside your hands. Which this picture here, like it doesn't matter who it is, on tour you've got like, You've got like Matt Kuchar back here and you got like Jim Furyk up here. But like this part where like the face angle matches the spine and your hands are kind of going left and this thing's under control, like all good ball strikers have that regardless of how they get there. There's lots of different ways to get there, but that's consistent because that controls the face and that face determines 75% of where it goes and that's why they're on tour. All right, so what we saw, backswing looked pretty good, but in your backswing you had a tendency to be just a smidgen high, and the fastest distance between two points is a straight line, so you would come down, make it just a hair steep occasionally, okay? So you always wanna to try to feel like your hands are working in and around your pivot with really soft arms, so the clubs just, your hands are just traveling around your pivot, which you can manage by going to your wall to get your depth, take your setup that's in your practice plan that I wrote there and turn back and try to get these hands back here to the wall. Okay, like 20 a day. The second piece was the, was the continuation of us working on kind of your sequencing and the, and the effect of the sequencing is the fact that your right hand has too much throw, so like this ball creates a gap. It makes your hands run out, the face shut, and the ball go left, okay? So we're trying to feel like we're coming this way and the, our hands are working back around the arc so that the face matches your spine and then as it goes up, the toe goes up, right? So you've got that, that uh, steel club there where you're going here and you're hinging at it and then firing and releasing. This way, trying to hit it low with like a little draw. Then you had um, right hand only swings where you're going this way keeping that total golf trainer on there and just trying to feel like you're kind of releasing the club and turning to like this short follow through. So you go back and then just try to hit little tiny draws that kind of start right and turn back. Um, and then you had the other playing feel, which was if you were playing and you had a feeling of this club was like wrapping around you, right? If you had a feeling of at the top, your right arm was like holding a tray this way right, rather than dumping it out too much. So if it went this way, and then I like came back to impact, there's my impact, whereas if I was going this way and it was throwing, and then I came back to impact, you could see how much that club would have passed over my body and shut the face. So that's just another feeling of 
the ball not going left. <laughs>